And I was literally thought, like, what the hell happened to me? So that they put me in here thinking that I was dead. So we're moving on to sixth grade. Here we go. Hey guys, we're back. Part two of my school life. Sixth grade was the start of something new. That's the title of a song from High School Musical, if you guys didn't know. Uh, this is pretty much the last year I was in Paramount until we moved. I started middle school and I went to Zam Frank J. Zamboni Middle School here in Paramount, California. In 2009, I was 11. It was a pretty dope year, you know? Everybody there was new to middle school. I made new friends, I met new people. My first period, I believe, was PE. Second period, history. Third period was math, fourth was science, fifth and sixth were English. So, with this, PE, I was scared because I've never just in front of other people before, other than myself and my family members. I was kind of nervous, you know, like, I didn't want to show my body off to anybody because, like, you know, like right now, well, I, I, I didn't like the way I, I look now because, you know, like, I, I look better now, especially because, like, the smirch, you know? The year was pretty chill, like, it wasn't really nothing bad or good, and it was just the first year of middle school. I remember one thing, though, the principals there and, like, some of the staff were the ones that were at Zamboni now. Like, the vice principal there, and she's like, Hi, Omar. I'll be like, I thought I was done with you. But hey, guess what? Like every other year, little bitch boy Omar cried. <laughs> sixth grade was pretty much just a smooth year. After I was done with sixth grade, I finally found out that we were going to be moving. Woohoo! Whoopee! We're moving to Lingwood. That was going to be my first house there. And so, seventh grade, I started a new school. I moved away. None of my friends knew I was moving. I didn't tell them because, like, well, I didn't know I was moving. If I would have known, I would have told them. I would have asked them for their numbers and shit, dude, so I could keep in touch with them so that when I came back, if I ever did come back, I wouldn't be a complete freaking stranger. Seventh grade came around. <clears throat> my friends didn't know I was moving away. And so I'm pretty sure when they went to seventh grade, they're probably thinking, like, yo, there's one person missing. In seventh grade, I am now in Lingwood. I am now going to school in Lingwood again. So keep in mind, I was a little white skinny kid. Seventh grade came around, I was kind of like, you know, like someone of someone I, uh, what I am right now, but I was still skinny, just taller. I went to LMS, Lingwood Middle School. Everybody that was in seventh grade right there, they were still, they were new. They were new to middle school. Whereas I wasn't new, I already knew what middle school was like and stuff. Like I already been, I've already been to different classes every other hour or so. Seventh grade, you guys wouldn't believe who I ran into. Was it my friend, Diego? Was it B, an old crush c an old teacher or d my kindergarten friend the first period i had it was history i believe you guys won't believe who i met it was my friend from kindergarten i was like dude I, 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 when he walked in i kept looking at him like i, I didn't want to make it weird because i just kept looking at i kept looking at him like dude i've seen his face before dude so what was weird about it is that that day we went to the class right it was a whole new school year and everything i go to my side seat because the teacher I guess was smart enough to put our names on the assigned seats and stuff. My friend, he sat next to me on my right side, my right hand side. He walks in, but before he walks in, I'm over here looking at the desk. I'm like, who are these people? That I'm trying to see, like, to see if I recognize any of their names, right? But like, it was only their first initials and their last name. Either way, he was next to me, right? So he's like, "Hey, man, uh, how you been?" I'm like, uh, "Sorry, what?" He's like, "What do you mean, Omar? Like, you, you don't recognize me?" I'm like. Uh, by the time I didn't want to say, oh yeah, I do recognize you, but so I'm like, uh, he's like, it's me, Oscar. I'm like, oh, what's up, man? Like, how, like, he's like, oh yeah, like. So pretty much, I recognized, my, like, I recognized him at first, but I didn't want to like say, oh shit, yeah, I remember you. He's like, oh, where'd you go, man? Like, I'm like, yeah, I, I just, I, I moved to a different school and stuff. So pretty much that. He's, he's like, oh yeah, so how, how do you like it so far? I'm like, it's not bad, you know? It's pretty cool. And I told him, like, yeah, this is not, like, it's not my first time being here, like, in middle school. It's my second, like, it's my second year already. He's like, wait, what? He's like, and I told him, like, yeah, because in sixth grade, I, I was in middle school already. He's like, how? He's like, oh, because, like, the school I went to, I was already in middle school. And he's like, what? How? How is that, like, how is that possible? I'm like, I, I was already in high school. I don't know. I was already in middle school. I don't know. There's a lot of cute girls in my class. They're friends. I forgot. What, one of them, her name was Paola Lopez. No, not my sister. Not my little sister. No, no, no. It's a different person. It's a different girl. That might, like, pretty weird that has her name, but her name was Paola Lopez. And her friend was, I want to say Sierra. So, seventh grade, it was a pretty dope year, you know? A lot happened. Well, I caught up with my old friends. Some of my 
<coughs> friends way back when. I was like, hey, I, like, you, have, you, have you talked to them lately? I'm like, love. <laughs> he's like, alright, they're going. Alright, Austin pretty much introduced me to everybody. <laughs> to all of them, like, hit their group right now, right? He's like, hey, guys, do you remember who he is? I'm like, they're like, oh, Omar, what's up, man? I'm like, what's up? I'm like, how's it? They're like, oh, how, how you been, man? Where, 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 where you been? I'm like, uh, different school. I just, I, I just came back. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're like, what? Really? Like, I'm like, yeah, like, I, I, I know I've been gone for a while. <laughs> like, for a while. Like, you've been, it's just been a long time. I'm like, oh, I, I guess. I'm so, I'm just, but, you know, so, like, throughout the year, I'm, like, I, I made new friends. I made, I, I re-made friends, I guess. Seventh grade ended. Let's just move on. Eighth grade came along. And I started to miss school more there. And it was only because I started getting sick. I started getting sick, like, the way I am right now. One day, I went out with my friends. Went out to eat at... Primo's Burgers or Hamburgers. It was it check right there on um, is it Atlantic? I think it's Atlantic. I, I went back home first before I went over there. Uh, I went home because of my like my house wasn't that far from school to go get money. So I'm like, hey, you know I need to go get money. Hold on. I'm like, I told I told my friend Gabriel, I'm like, you want to come with me before like unless you want to stay here. He's like, no, I, I'll go with you. I'm like, alright. So, so I go home. And I told him like, hey, if you want, you can come inside. Cause he, he just stood outside the door like this, just like. Just waiting for me to come. I'm like, dude, if you want to come inside the house, <laughs> like, he was acting so weird, just staying over there. So then, uh, so yeah, this food just stayed there, and then so I'm like, okay, just, okay, just come inside the house. But yeah, we went to Primo's Burgers and stuff. We went out to eat, and we were done eating. I walked home. Well, we all walked home pretty much because we all lived like around the same streets and stuff. And yeah, pretty much it was pretty dope, you know. Uh, shit. So eighth grade was pretty dope. Well, at least for how long I was there, because I was only there for like half a year. When it came to that point, uh, I finally we ended up moving eventually back over here to Paramount. For, so now we're back in Paramount for like the second remaining of the year. Like it was after the first semester was done, like after Christmas break is when we came over here. Where I'm at right now, this house right now, currently, I've been here for the past seven years now. And I finished school here in Paramount. The same thing that happened to me at Lincoln Middle School happened to me here for the sec for the remaining of the year of eighth grade. Uh, some of my old friends recognized me they're like, hey, my friend Diego, who was the first one to recognize me, he's like, Omar. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, do you recognize me? Like, you who I am? I'm like, yeah, Diego, why? What happened? And my friend Diego told my friend Salvador. He told him, he's like, see, oh, you see, I told you Omar was going to come back. I told you he was going to come back. And he's like, yeah, you did say that. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, well, I, I didn't say that, but that's what my friend, my other friend said. He's like, oh, yeah, I told, yeah, he's like, yeah, you did tell me that. And Diego was like, I told you, I told you to come back. And he's like, hey, Omar, so where'd you go, man? I'm like, I went to. I went to Lingwood for a while. He's like, for what? I'm like, I moved over there and we moved back over here. He's like, oh, okay. I'm like, all right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, it's like, like that year started getting crazy, pretty much. The ending, the, the remaining year of eighth grade was getting crazy because everybody started to was starting to recognize me. I was one of the people that they're like, oh, what? You look familiar. Uh, I'm like, oh, I, I do. <laughs> Cause I, I, I like playing around with people like that. Like I, I'm, I'm a snarky, smart-ass kid, you know. So my PE teacher I had at the time, his name was Mr. Cunningham. Uh, everybody in the class pretty much recognized me. And there was a girl there. Her name was um, her name was Jessica. She's like, Yeah, I remember you. Uh, uh, what was your name? Omar, huh? I'm like, Yeah, that's me. Hi. Pretty much eighth grade, <clears throat> which is pretty dope. We returned, pretty freaking famous. <laughs> Because everybody pretty much remembered who I was. Everybody wanted to know where I was at, where I've been, and stuff. One day, during PE, oh, your boy, your truly right here, we were doing like some type of, it was a relay. And when it finally came to me, like with my team, uh, I wanted to make sure I won the race, right? So we were running, I was running backwards, because that's what we were supposed to be doing at the time. We were, we were supposed to be running backwards. I fell and hit my head so hard that like, it just made me dizzy. But here we go. Though. We were running back, words, right? I lost my, like, I, I had lost my footing, I guess. I had tripped over my own feet. No, I tripped over, like, the crack of the floor. And that's what made me fall down. And I was going so fast backwards that I tripped over that crack. I, I hit my head so hard on the floor that it made a big thump, like, like, down on the floor. And they're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So, my teacher made sure, like, hey, hey, give him some, get, get, let him get some air. Let him, let him get air, let him get air. I kid you not. I was seeing blurry. Like, I'm not sure if you guys have seen that SpongeBob meme or that, that Mr. Cat meme where he, like, he's like going all crazy like this, like just looking all over the place. Uh, that's how it was for me. Like, literally. Like, literally, literally, I am not kidding you. I had put up my head up a little bit. Everything was just super, like, crazy. I opened my eyes a little bit. 
I see the sky, and then I close my eyes again, because my then I stop. And the next time I open my eyes, I was in the health office with an ice pack on my head, laying down on the bed that they had there. First thing that came to my mind, I'm like, what the hell happened? Um, I was laying down with my arms like on my body, like if I were dead or something. I open my eyes, I sit up, I'm like, oh. <sighs> the ice pack fell like in front of me, like, wait, what the? I look around, and I'm like... And my shoes were off too, so I'm like, who, who took off? I'm like, I'm like, where? Like, I was really like, freaking out, I'm like, where am I? And, I, and the way I'm, I'm, I'm laying down right now, if I look to my left, there was a door right there. Like, literally, there was a the door, the, the entryway to the room I was in. And there was a lady there behind a the desk looking at me. She's like, he's up. I'm like, who is she telling that to? I was getting scared, right? So I, I, I turned myself over to sit down, like, I put my shoes on, because I don't know. How I, like I really don't know how I got there, and I'm like, what? And I was thinking, I'm like, who the hell put me in this bed? And like I was like maybe like 110 pounds. Out. I was pretty tall, and I was for, well for my age, I think I was kind of overweight. So that means I was heavy. So who the hell put me on this bed? Who the hell took off my shoes? Who the hell thought I was dead? Like what the hell? Like, <laughs> and I was literally thought I'm like, what the hell happened to me? So that they put me in here thinking that I was dead. So I wake up. I feel my head, I feel a huge ass bump, like, maybe like this big. I didn't go home that day. I think I did. I'm not sure I don't remember, to be honest. See? <sighs> As it is, I'm pretty surprised that I remember this much of that story. That's pretty much some of the things I brought back from 8th grade. Um, aside of having counseling happen and li like going to the library. But yeah, that was pretty much 8th grade right there. Uh, there was a story between the end of the year for 7th grade and the beginning of the year of 8th grade. So I was still in Linwood, um, 7th grade. At the end of it, it came across my mind is that like now that I'm here in Lingwood, like I'm like whatever happened to Olivia, like that girl I like from kindergarten, right? I'm like whatever happened to her, and I started start thinking, I'm like I, I had asked Ashley, like hey Ashley, do you know like do you know if you could find her for me, like try to see where she's at right now, like like I, I, I was trying to be a stalker, I was trying to see like what what up what's up with her, like where is she at, where, where is she at now, like what school is she going to, because like throughout the year she wasn't there at <coughs> at Lingwood, so like if she's not here, what like did she move away, like what school did she go to? So like towards the end of seventh grade, she's able to find Olivia for me. She's like hey Omar, Omar come here. I'm like, yeah, actually, what happened? Because, um, I gotta tell you guys, because we, we, we lived together for a while. Her family and my family, we lived in one house. It was a pretty big house, that's why we lived, that's why we lived together. But, anyway, that's a different story. It doesn't matter about that. But, anyway, so I go to her, I go to Ashley, I'm like, hey, what, what happened? She's like, I found her for you. I found her. And I got, I know where she's actually, she's going to a school in Paramount. And I'm like, wait, what? Paramount? I was literally just there last year. What happened? Right? And so, towards the end of the year, I'm like, oh, I ran to my mom, like, mom. I asked her, like, mom. Can, uh, can I go back to school in Paramount, please? <laughs> but the reason I, I brought it up to is because well, I wanted to see Olivia. I wanted to tell her how I felt, and I wanted to go out with her, and I wanted her to be my girlfriend. And yeah, when I told her mom that, she's like, why do you want to go back for her? And I told her, like, well, because uh, Olivia. And mom knew how, how, how I felt about Olivia. So I was hoping she would say yes, and guess what? She said, no, Mark, just, just, we're gonna go, you're going to go to school here still. Like, just stop. I'm like, oh, why? But can I go after 8th grade? She's like, yeah, yeah, sure. So I go into 8th grade, all confident, you know. I'm like, hoo hoo yeah. After this, I'm gonna see Olivia. But then mid-year happens, and I'm like, mom, I was literally starting to like my friends here. Like, I was literally trying to, I, I was literally gonna have friends. Then she's like, oh, but when we were Paramount. I was kinda mad, you know? I was like smacking myself up in the head, like, oh my fucking god, oh my fucking dummy. I'm like, all right. But then I was also thinking of my other hand, like, my other hand. <laughs> the other side of my head, like, my other side of the brain. I'm like, you're gonna be able to see Olivia now. I'm like, oh. Oh my gosh, what you are right? <laughs> so I started getting happy all of a sudden, right? And I'm like, yes, 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 yes. And yeah, you guys have a story about 8th grade already. And that, that's, that's pretty much a little gap I forgot in like to detail. And then freshman year. All the things that I believe, baby, if you leave me now. Salvador. 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 Dumbledore. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um,